In this video, I'll show you how to use Blender's very useful built-in camera rig add-on. So to enable the add-on, you can just click on Edit, and then you can go to the Preferences. And then click over here on the Add-ons tab, and here on the search, you can type in Camera, and you can just checkmark the Camera Add Camera Rigs add-on. And then to make sure this add-on is always enabled in your future Blender projects, you can just click on that Save Preferences button, or if you don't have the Save Preferences button, it might be because the Auto Save Preferences is already turned on. So we can now close Blender's user preferences. So we can now press Shift A and we can go down here to camera and you can see Blender has some new camera options to add. And I'm going to be adding the Dolly camera rig. So when you add this camera rig it's going to give you a camera and then the camera is parented to these bone objects. So in order to pose the rig you can click right up here on object mode and you can go to pose mode or you can use the shortcut key of control tab. So if you're in object mode and you just press the tab key that'll go in between edit mode and object mode. If you press control tab that'll go in between pose mode and object mode if the object is a bone object. So now we have four different rig controllers so this bottom one down here this will control the entire rig. Then there's also this little bone right here, and this is an offset, so you can move this around to offset the camera, but I just use this one here because this one here is also going to move the camera. And then what's really useful about this camera rig is that there is an object that the camera always focuses on. So that is this bone here, so I can move this around, and you can see the camera is always going to focus on it. And then I can also move this object around, so maybe I want to bring the camera up here, have the camera focus right over here, and then I can select this object and I can move the entire thing around. So I'll just press Control tab to go back to object mode, and then I'll quickly build up a little scene here by just adding a plane, scaling this up, and then I'll add a few random objects in the scene. So I'm now going to select the camera rig again, and I'll use Control tab to go into pose mode. So now I can hit the zero on the numpad to go into the camera view, and I can move this around to focus the camera on the different object. And then remember, if you want to select another object, you first need to hit Control tab to go back to object mode, and then you can select the other objects, and you can move them around. Now if you're in pose mode of the rig, let's say that you want to move the camera around looking at these different objects, but you want to keep it on the same height up and down. Well an easy way to do this is to just select the focus object, you can then hit G to grab, and then you can press Shift Z. So Shift Z will exclude the Z axis, so you can just move it on the X and Y, and I can just move this around and the camera will focus on these objects. So let's now do a basic animation with this camera. So I'm going to click on this button here, this will turn on the auto key, so whenever we make a transform it'll add a keyframe to that object. So I'm now going to select this bone right here. I'll hit G to grab. I'll hit Shift Z to exclude the Z axis and maybe move the camera right there. And now you can see here on the timeline it's added a keyframe. So I can now move over to the end of the timeline. I can hit G to grab, hit Shift Z to exclude the Z axis, and maybe just move this right over here. And then I can play this and the camera is going to move throughout the scene. Then I also want to move the camera so I'll select the camera controller and I'll go back here to the starting and maybe I'll move this down so I'll start by having the camera right down here and what's so useful about this is the camera's already focusing on this object so I don't need to rotate the camera I can just move this down here then I can go to the very end and maybe I want to bring the camera up so I'll bring this up on the z-axis and maybe move it a bit farther back and then let's say I want to change the focus between these different objects during the animation so I'll select the focus object I can go to the starting I'll hit G to grab then I can hit shift Z to exclude the z-axis and I'm just gonna like move it over here to the monkey then I'll play the animation and I'll go to about the center of the animation, G to grab, I can move this over, put that right over there, then I can go to the very end of the animation, G to grab, Shift Z, bring that right over there, and now if we play through the animation, it's going to focus on each object. So as you can see, this camera rig is very easy to use, and it can really help you to quickly make a nice camera animation. And if you'd like to learn more about Blender's camera, then I have a complete tutorial on how to use the camera in Blender. I'll have a link to that in the description. And if you'd like to learn the basics of animation in Blender, then you can check out my Animation for Beginners tutorial. Links will be in the description. So I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.